Over in the meadow, the grass was parched. The wildflowers, the hedgerows and the trees were gasping. There had not been a spot of rain since early summer. Oh, it's hot, said Rookie. In Rhubarb's garden, Poodle Princess and Mother Malone trudged back and forth with their heavy watering cans, while Rhubarb and Custard sat under the shade of the old conquer tree, trying to think. As for the poor old lawn, there was absolutely nothing that anyone could do. Fancy a game of cricket? mused Rhubarb. Nah, no lawn, sighed Custard, as a bee droned laboriously past. You shouldn't be carrying all that water, you know. It's far too heavy, said Rhubarb. Yeah, Custard added. And you promised to dream up a watering system. Pipe dream more like it, puffed Moggy. Pipes, spouted Rhubarb and stood up in a good idea sort of way. Pipes, we'll have underground pipes, he babbled. We'll water the garden with pipes. The flowers will grow and we can play cricket on the lawn, he gushed. The custard had nodded off and Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone had gone up to the house for a cup of tea. After all, watering is a very thirsty business. With that, Rhubarb picked up his bone phone. Mouse, that you? Half an hour later, Mouse, Rogan Scholar, turned up and Rhubarb explained his new idea, an automatic watering system for the garden. Well, you are b b brilliant, said Mouse. I know, said Rhubarb, and explained how the water would rain down all over the garden automatically. Oh, it's a pity to have to dig up what's left of the lawn to bury the pipes, squeaked Mouse dryly, and Rhubarb explained that Mole, Master Tunneler, would be the hero in this brilliant underworld plan. Oh, absolute genius, said Mouse, as Rhubarb called Mole on his bone phone. As Rhubarb and Mouse pored over the plans for the automatic watering system, Mole drilled and tunnelled through the night in the garden. When morning arrived, the new day began with Mole pickaxing his way up through the shed floor. Right, that's it, all done. You just have to turn her on and the garden will soon be a blooming flower show. Oh, thank you, Mole, said Rhubarb. Keeping the new watering system secret, Rhubarb watched Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone start trudging their heavy watering cans while Custard sank into his favourite chair in the shade of the old conquer tree. Whew! It's going to be another hot one, Rhubarb stage whispered, while Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone ignored him and continued tending their wilting blooms. Yeah, really hot today, sighed Custard. Too hot for watering, gasped Rhubarb. <laughs> OK, said Moggy Malone. The game's up. I've invented a watering system and you are it. It will be a pleasure, said Rhubarb, and explained how Mouse, Mole and himself had perfected the new automatic watering system. I don't believe you, said Moggy. Neither do I, darling, said Poodle Princess and Rhubarb invited them both to relax, enjoy a cool drink, and to watch Mouse turn on the new, fully automatic watering system. Well, in that case, all right then, said Moggy Malone. We'll see, darling, added Poodle Princess, and they sat down and eyed the cool drinks. Mouse made a big thing about how easy watering the garden can be, then turned the on wheel with great ceremony. Nothing. Not a drop of water to be seen. Well, thanks for the cool drinks, I'm sure. Come on, Princess. Obviously, this isn't going to work, so we'll try our idea, said Moggy Malone. And Poodle Princess nodded dramatically. And as Moggy Malone and Poodle Princess went to leave, <laughs> a rumbling and grumbling sound rumbled and grumbled until even the old conquer tree stood shaking in its roots. Let your tummy rumbling, Custard? Rhubarb inquired. Don't think so, said Custard, just as a gigantic water spout burst from the bowels of the earth and lifted him and his chair high above the old conquer tree, and the garden began to fill with brown, muddy water. 
Ooh, what a fantastic surge of aquatic power, said Mouse, almost overflowing with excitement, as Mole arrived covered in mud. I can't turn it off. The safety tab is stuck, he said. The custard carried on waving from the top of the water spout. Tap it with this hammer, said Rhubarb in an engineering kind of way, and Mole dived back into the mud and tapped the tap. It worked. The water kit stopped and Custard was dumped in the mud with a mighty spurt. Ow! It worked, said Rhubarb, feeling very pleased with himself, just as a stab of lightning flashed across the sky and big blobs of rain began to fall all over the garden. Oh, oh, squeaked Mouse. What's this? It's our watering idea, our rain dance, said Moggy Malone. And as she began to sing dreadfully, the Poodle Princess began a weird dance and the heavens opened. Uh, crickets are wash out then, said Mole. Yes, Mole, I, I think we're all in for a spell of real rain, said Rhubarb. A Moggy Monsoon and Puddle Princess kind of rain, he jested. And it came down. Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1s through 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is.